Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. So glad you're with us. We celebrate the Feast of St. Boniface today, this great evangelizer born in England and then was sent first to the Netherlands, or what is now the Netherlands, Frisia, it was called in those days. But his great work of success was in Germany. May he inspire us by his prayers and example of life to be great evangelizers ourselves. As always, we begin our celebration of this Holy Mass with the praying of the Regina Chile, or now that our Easter season is ended, we'll pray the uh, Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, the most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us offer up this Holy Mass for, with purity of heart and for the intentions which we now bring to mind. The Lord granted him a stern struggle that he might know that wisdom is mightier than all else. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the martyr St. Boniface be our advocate, O Lord, that we may firmly hold the faith he taught with his lips and sealed with his blood and confidently possess it by our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. You have followed my teaching, way of life, purpose, faith, patience, love, endurance, persecutions, and sufferings, such as happened to me in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra, persecutions that I endured. Yet from all these things, the Lord delivered me. In fact, all who want to live religiously in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. But wicked people and charlatans will go from bad to worse, deceiving, deceivers and deceived. But you, remain faithful to what you have learned and believed, because you know from whom you learned it, and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures, which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that 
one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Though my persecutors and my foes are many, I turn not away from your decrees. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Permanence is your word's chief trait. Each of your just ordinances is everlasting. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Those who love your law have great peace, and for them there's no stumbling block. O Lord, great peace of thee who love your law. I wait for your salvation, O Lord, and your commands I fulfill. O Lord, great peace of thee who love your law. I keep your precepts and your decrees, for all my ways are before you. O Lord, great peace of thee who love your law. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Whoever keeps, whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was teaching in the temple area, he said, How do the scribes claim that Christ is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord. So how is he his son? The great crowd heard this with delight. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It was exactly 10 years ago. It was May 31st of the year 2010, everybody, that a man who lived here in New York City was going upstate. He was going to see some friends and then head up to Albany to uh, see his mom. Um, it's the story of Thomas Wolpet Moreau. Um, it was dark out when he left uh, his friends in, in uh, Putnam County, and he continued north on the Taconic State Parkway. You know, it was about... Uh, about uh, 90 miles north of here, real close to where I grew up. But his car skidded off the road, right off the Taconic Parkway and through, an, uh, over the, through a group of trees over an embankment and uh, flipped over three times, landed upside down in a swamp area far below the area of the road. He was saved by both his seatbelt and his airbag but he was severely injured. He couldn't move his legs. He couldn't even feel them. And his uh, cell phone was lost in the crash. And now it's almost morning. Um, When the light came out, when the sun through the thick woods that he was in came out, he was able to drag his body out of the car with the strength of his arms. He was attacked by mosquitoes, flies, and insects spiders. He drank a little bit of the, of the swamp water, but it actually made him, made him sick. So he realized he couldn't, he couldn't drink any more of that. And there he stayed. Family and friends prayed for him. Uh, police and, and friends as well began to search frantically for him. And everyone um, was praying to God that he could be found. You know, one of his co-workers was saying that he, he just prayed that he would show up to work on Tuesday morning or uh, after the weekend. 
Four days now passed, and hope was fading. Meanwhile, the, the police searched for his cell phone records, and they could tell when the signal stopped. The last signal was, um, was around the Taconic Staked Park, and uh, there was a trooper, a New York State police officer by the name of Trooper Ron Cardis. He, uh, he kept digging, and he, he saw that there was faint traces of rubber on the road and on the guardrail, and it, it looked like it had been disturbed. So he went farther and found the car. Then he found Thomas. He was badly injured, severely dehydrated, but he was alive. He was airlifted to Albany Medical Center and survived. Um, what's the point? God hears our prayers. He heard Thomas's prayer. He hears uh, our prayer. And we, we, hear, we, we just saw in, in our first reading this kind of gratitude that comes up from St. Paul. I mean, he's writing to this new young bishop, St. Timothy, and he tells him to remember that he said, I myself had all kinds of problems. You, you've been following my career, to put it, not in his words, but just to give an explanation. You've seen what I've gone through, and he, and he makes a list of it. You saw my teachings, my way of life, my purpose, faith, patience, love, endurance. And then the, the tone changes. My persecutions and sufferings that happened to me. And he mentions three. I mean, he, St. Paul suffered in a lot of places. But he mentioned three that St. Timothy would have been very aware of. Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra, these three places. That same area where Timothy and his mother and his grandmother came to faith. So after making these lists, he says, you know it. Uh, he mentions persecutions twice. You, you saw the persecutions that I endured. And then this sentence. Yet, from all these things, the Lord delivered me. That's it. That's the lesson. It's a great lesson for us to trust in God. God delivered St. Paul. God delivered Thomas. Uh, and he delivers us too. You know, we're kind of living in a time of crisis or crises. We know that God's going to deliver us and bring good out of it. It's true of um, whatever personal thing you might be going through right now. It may be very difficult. And, you know, when, who knows what, uh, what anyone who happens to be tuning in at this time might be going through in their heart. What loss and pain and difficulty, what interpersonal conflict, what job loss, financial worries. You can make your own list like St. Paul made his list. And sometimes it really looks like a t catastrophe is looming. Sometimes I, I think the Lord loves to bring us to the brink. He even allows us to look over the edge into the abyss before he pulls us back to safety. St. Paul experienced that many times. And I would bet many of us have experienced that as well. St. Paul's list of what he's gone through and his affirmation, the Lord delivered me from all these things. It's a chance for us to refresh our own memory, to make perhaps our own list of the many times that God saved us, delivered us from the near brink experience and brought us back. The message, to trust in him. He will never let go of you. He will never ever let go of you. Put your trust in Him. It will work out. True, sometimes God enables us or allows us to undergo trials. It reminds us that we have a great need for Christ. Huh. Hmm. But the, the best news in the world is that we have a great Christ for our need. And he never promised that we wouldn't have problems. He, in fact, he promised that we would have problems. But he will always be with us. Let us not allow our amnesia for all of the, Lord, the times the Lord have 
rescued us. All the things he's done for us block the gratitude that should always flourish in our hearts. Or as our psalmist said today, O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Let us turn to the Father with confidence as we present our needs and petitions. We pray that the church may be filled with the knowledge of God's will and all spiritual wisdom and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may grant all nations prudent and compassionate leaders who strive to work together for the good of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer for the sake of the gospel may find consolation in God's promises. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we who gather around the Lord's table today, this holy mass, may receive the grace of God's call to a deeper sense of holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And on this first Friday, we pray for Miguel Aracena, for whom this mass is offered that uh, he and all the dead may experience God's closeness and the eternal glory of heaven. Remember especially those who, who have been killed by uprisings and violence, including George Ford, George Floyd, and uh, all those who have died from the COVID-19 illness. May they be in glory in the presence of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, you sent your Son to bring us life. Hear the prayers we place before you today. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of holy martyrs and grant that we, your servants, may find steadfast, be, may be found steadfast in confessing your name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, St. Boniface, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which our weakness, by which in our weakness, 
you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you've set us free. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Boniface, and with all the saints in whose constant intercession, your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Timothy our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, remembering especially Miguel Aracena, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace virtually. Años de qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Años de qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Años de qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it in eternity, says the Lord. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is here. His desire to be received by us. He wants to be received in the Holy Eucharist. Um, and yet, our circumstances prevent it for now. Think of the many saints, St. Saint Mark. Think of St. Isaac Job, St. Teresa the Child Jesus, who, all of whom had periods of their life where they sometimes extended periods when they could not receive Holy Communion. We unite ourselves with them and know that they were sanctified even in that famine that they experienced. Let us make this spiritual communion with great unction and devotion 
and dedication, asking the Lord to receive us and be received by Him. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart as though you are already there. I embrace you and I unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyrs, your blessed martyr, St. Boniface, faithful in your service and victorious in suffering through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all of the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruination of souls. Amen. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria.